Welcome to Speak English Podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. In this episode, you're going to learn vocabulary about flaws. That is, the negative characteristic of people. In the second part, we will practice speaking with a fun mini story of questions and answers. Remember to get the transcript of this episode at speakenglishpodcast.com slash podcast. Let's start. In a couple of previous episodes, you learned vocabulary related to virtues. You know, those good characteristics of people. As you know, you and I are full of virtues. But today, we're going to talk about negative characteristics that others have, not us, of course. Although there are many flaws, I will focus on just a few. I have made a selection to discuss them below. Let's go for the first one. Number one, stinginess. A person who never wants to spend money is stingy, especially if they can afford it. I think it is convenient to distinguish between a saver and a stingy person. A saver person tries to manage his money well. On the other hand, a stingy person always tries to save every last cent. An example. Imagine a dialogue between a stingy person and a cab driver. How much is a ride to the airport? $30. How much do you charge for the suitcase? There is no charge for the suitcase. Well, then take my suitcase to the airport. I'm walking. Number two, indifference. It is very common in the world we live in. An indifferent person has the attitude of not showing empathy or interest in something or someone. Sometimes it is a defense mechanism to avoid being emotionally involved in some circumstances. One can be indifferent about many things. Politics, social problems, friendships, family, etc. An example. Hey, what is the difference between ignorance and indifference? I don't know and I don't care. Wow, that's really showing indifference and ignorance. Let's look at the next one. Number three, intransigence. We can say that someone who is intransigent is rigid in their positions and who is not willing to make concessions or give in to compromises under any circumstances. An example. Paul is a good teacher, but he's very intransigent. A student asked for more time to turn in his work because he had a health problem. However, Paul told the student that he would not make any exceptions. Number four. Gossip. It means to speak 
indiscreetly or maliciously about someone. For example, Did you know that Alice just got divorced and already has a boyfriend? Lucy, stop gossiping and get back to work. Okay, now it's time for you to practice your speech with a mini story. By the way, if you want to know how to speak English using the right techniques, visit my website, speakenglishpodcast.com, and subscribe to my mailing list. I will send you my five day video course so you can learn how to speak English fluently. And it's completely free. Okay, what's a mini story? A mini story is very simple. I give you information using phrases and then I ask you questions. After each question, there will be some seconds of silence. It's your turn to answer the question. Just try to give an easy and a short answer, not a complex one. After your answer, I'll give you the correct answer. And just like that, I'll tell you a story with questions and answers. Are you ready? Bill was the stingiest people in the world. Was Bill a stingy person or a wasteful person? Stingy. Bill was a stingy person. How was Bill? Stingy. He was cheap. He was a stingy person. Bill was one of the stingiest people in the world. One cold winter day, Bill went to a lake to fish. Was the winter day warm, mild, or cold? Cold. The winter day was cold. Where did Bill go? To a lake. He went to a lake. Why did Bill go to a lake? To fish. He went to a lake to fish. Bill dropped a coin from his pocket into the water. Did Bill drop his wallet from his pocket? No. Bill didn't drop his wallet from his pocket. He dropped a coin from his pocket. Did a coin fall out of his pocket or his backpack? Out of his pocket. Bill dropped the coin out of his pocket, not his backpack. Where did the coin fall? Into the water. The coin fell into the water. Bill said to himself, I'm not going to jump into cold water for one coin. Did Bill say something to himself or did he say it to someone else?
to himself. He said something to himself. He said it to himself. Did he say he was going to jump into the water? No, he didn't say that. He said, I'm not going to jump into the cold water for a single coin. Where did Bill say he wasn't going to jump? Into the water. Bill said he wasn't going to jump into the water. Bill pulled another coin out of his pocket and threw it into the water. Did Bill take a second coin out of his pocket? Yes, he took a coin out of his pocket. He took a second one out of his pocket. Did he throw it into the water? Yes, he threw it into the water. Where did he get the coin? From his pocket. He took it out of his pocket. What did he do with the coin? He threw it into the water. Bill threw the coin into the water. Bill said to himself, Now for two coins, I'm going to jump into the water to get them back. Was Bill going to jump into the water? Yes, Bill said. Yes, I'm going to jump into the water. Bill was going to jump for two coins. For how many coins was he going to jump? Two. Bill felt that one coin wasn't worth getting wet in the cold lake water, but for two coins, it was worth it. Well, that's the end of this short mini-story. I wouldn't jump into the cold water in winter for one coin or two coins. I'm not crazy. But for three coins, I might think about it. Perfect! It's the end of this mini-story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. It is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.